There, there are random correlations people have found that if you like curly fries on Facebook, you're more likely to be intelligent. Uh, Hawaii, like no clue, uh, just everything correlates with everything. It's, it's some weird correlation. Um, Seth Stevens davidowitz a writer for the New York Times, a former Google data scientist, and I'm the author of the book, Everybody Lies. Everything you do correlates with something else you might do. That's just the way the world works. If you wear blue shirts, you're more likely to do something than people who wear red shirts. You know, it may be a small difference, it may be a huge difference, but in general, uh, everything you do has some predictive power for something else you'll do. Historically, uh, companies have only known five or six things about you. They knew, uh, you know, maybe your, your race, your religious background, what school you attended, your income, your previous employment history. And then uh, lawyers or uh, politicians could determine what are companies allowed to use. If you know, if they know six things, well, they can't use these two things. But now we're entering a world where employers know a million things about you. Uh, they know everything on your social media. They know a lot of your purchase history. They know maybe things you've done on computers in various uh, in, uh, in various places. Many of these things are going to correlate with your likelihood of being a high. Uh, a productive employee. Uh, there, there are random correlations people have found that if you like curly fries on Facebook, you're more likely to be intelligent. Uh, Hawaii, like no clue. Uh, just everything correlates with everything. It's, it's some weird correlation. But you could imagine a world where employers would be wise to give you a, a downgrade if you don't like curly fries, if you like straight fries instead of curly fries. I think the legal and ethical framework is not prepared for big data.